hope to bring awareness and let people know that they can actually speak up and have a voice of their concerns that are occurring in the district. So many people have been hiding behind what I call curtains and have not felt that they could come forward and address any of the concerns they've had in the district publicly. So do you think these concerns have been kind of long-standing and simmering and, and the issue with the image that uh, the superintendent showed kind of brought this to the fore? Or I would agree with that statement. I do think some of them have been simmering. Some of them people have been trying to find avenues to actually address the issues. Uh, and definitely the image that was shown at the convocation was a tipping point of people being willing to come out and say, no more in our school, not in our schools. Um, there are a number of things that we want to accomplish. Number one, we want to make it very explicit that uh, depicting racist and demeaning pictures of uh, African American males is inappropriate and doesn't abode well for a leader who must uh, lead a diverse district such as Beloit. Number two, we're demanding uh, fair and equitable hiring practices in the district. Um, there seems to be one process for a certain group of candidates and an, another set of uh, processes for another group of candidates. We want Superintendent McNeil to stop with the lip service. Uh, we want um, the board to get down to business of hiring qualified African-American candidates, Latino candidates. And uh, we want uh, the board to rein in his bullying, alleged bullying tactics in that uh, it should be noted that um, this is a public uh, district that is uh, paid for by tax dollars and it's owned by the tax dollars. It's not owned by McNeil.